this church Come Children's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. They are, uh, it's an amazing hospital. It's an amazing hospital. They do such amazing work. They are about affordable health care. They recognize that health care is a privilege and a right. It's a privilege, but it's also a right. And of course, our president believes that, but we got some clowns in Congress who are trying to hold a health care hostage. I'll talk about that in a minute. But last night, St. Jude Children's Hospital, uh, because of you, uh, they honored uh, us. They honored me. And uh, it was an amazing experience. And uh, the distinguished brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi, uh, what they do is they, uh, for years, they had this a day of hope where across the nation they would partner with churches and raise money for St. Jude Children's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. And the church that raised the most money out of all of the churches in the country is Friendship West Baptist Church. The, the number one, number one. I told you it's something bigger but ain't nobody better. I told you that. Alright? And so... Uh, and our partnership especially took place. I'm glad to see my cousin. Stand up, Byron. One, my cousin, Byron Lattimore, he was the uh, both vice pole mark and then became grand pole mark of the, chap of the, cap of the campus chapter here uh, in Dallas. And under his leadership, we partnered uh, for the Day of Hope. And so last night, Vita, do you have that one? Yes. See this one right here? Vita got this. They gave, they gave this to the church last night. It's a wonderful picture. Young brother who is a beneficiary and recipient of the fact that when you go to uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, they don't ask for your money. It's all about you getting healed. All right? And so this is for us. And then they also uh, gave one to me. And so uh, I'm just too honored and thrilled. And let me just say this right quick. St. Jude, I didn't know about this, uh, but over 40% of the patients they serve are black. Okay? St. Jude was the first hospital. And this blew my mind last night when they were sharing this. Back in the 60s, St. Jude Hospital refused to be segregated. As a matter of fact, they were the first hospital that said, regardless of your color, you can come in this hospital. If you're black, you're going to have a white roommate. You can get the same care as someone else. And watch this. The, the, the equality of opportunity in health care is manifest there in so many ways in that, watch this, uh, the rate of health for black kids is the same as of, 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 of the rate of health for white kids. Why? Because they don't look at skin color to determine whether or not someone is going to receive quality service. And so St. Jude Hospital is just an amazing piece. And so... Uh, we are going to continue. I, I was so moved last night. A sister came. Uh, she had to fly back to Memphis. I wanted her to uh, come preach today. She ba basically preached last night. But she just shared. She has three kids with brain tumors. Can you imagine that? Three kids, brain tumors. But she's taken all of them to St. Jude Hospital and is still waiting to pay. Because St. Jude says, you ain't paying. You, th this is not about can you pay. It's a matter of do you want to be made whole. 
And so this is the kind of work that we need to support. And so I just wanted to just salute you because they honored me last night. And I'm tripping. I'm saying, only reason y'all honoring me is because I just happened to pastor the greatest church south of heaven. And so since I happened to pastor the greatest ch church south of heaven, I get this honor. I ain't bragging, I'm testifying, okay? I always say every pastor should get the privilege of pastoring y'all. It's just too bad. God let me do it. So I'm going to keep y'all as long as I can. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to share that with you. Speaking of the... Christian West Baptist Church.